Hello, I'm Isaac Ostrom. Thanks for checking out another one of my videos. Today I am testing Noble's value seal membrane, which is basically their competitor, their equivalent for Schluter Curdy. It's a 15 mil polyethylene fleece waterproofing membrane to be bonded with Thinset or their adhesive uh, Noble Seal 150, I think they call their adhesive, their sealant. Uh, if you saw the video that I just did recently that had uh, a cut and fold corner with Curdy Fix and I just had it sitting in a cup, 48 hours, it didn't leak, nothing came through it, where the Curdy, it did because the fleece on the Curdy is a little bit different. So uh, there's a couple main differences uh, between the value seal and the Curdy that I'm aware of. And for one, the fleece on the value seal is a lot tighter than the fleece on the Curdy. The Curdy has more fleece on it, which I think is better for mechanical bonding. Um, and I'm gonna find that out here pretty quick because I use Thinset and when I peel it apart, I wanna see how easy it pulls, pulls off. Um, but what the fleece on the Curdy did was when we used just Curdy Fix as a sealant, uh, it was able to leak behind the fleece on the Schluter Curdy. So that's one difference. The other difference is the, the value seal uh, has, has memory to it. So you can see it, it just wants to fold up. Whatever, whatever position it's in, oops, dip that in water. Whatever position it's in, it, it wants to stay in. So that can be both good and bad because um, good, you can, you can fold a corner and it's gonna wanna stay there. You can do a nice fold and it's, it's gonna wanna stay put. Um, the bad thing is, is if you're going to then set it down and it has this memory in a roll, it wants to peel up uh, because there's, again, there's not much mechanical bond between the thin set and whatever you're putting this down with. So um, that's, that's the main differences that I see. So uh, what I wanted to test was, like I showed in my uh, little cup with the value seal cut and fold with Curdy Fix, how that held water, I wanted to see if I could replicate that in a seven day flood this has actually been sitting for almost two weeks. We went on vacation, so it's just been sitting here. And I wanna see if, if this held up. I have no preformed corners in this, this box. All I did was cut and fold corners. Um, after I cut and folded and thin setted the corners, what I did is I put a bead of Curdy Fix sealant over the seams, just a bead. And uh, I wanted to see if that's enough because um, if it is, that'd be cool. And if not, just good for knowledge. Also, I want to find out, um, I did a patch where it's just, um, I just took a patch of the value seal and put it on top of the value seal. Because for one, I want to see how much water penetrates underneath the two layers, like how Curdy works. I want to see if, it's, if it seeps under just like Curdy does. And I also want to see um, the adhesion, like how, how well is, is that adhered? Uh, because it's lacking the fleece that Curdy has, is it gonna have as good of a bond? Uh, because I, I, I hate when these membranes just peel off real easy. It doesn't, it doesn't seem right to me. So uh, that's what I'm gonna be testing. I'll go ahead and start taking this apart. Okay, water's out. Uh, another thing, um, I use modified thin set. This is MAPE Ultraflex RS. So it's a fast setting modified thin set. Noble company actually approves any modified thin set to use with their membranes. They actually say they would rather have it than unmodified. First thing I'm gonna do is peel back the membrane. And this is peeling really easy. I mean, it's like really easy. And as far as moisture penetration, you can see there, um, this is where I had peeled up because I wanted to give it a, a path to soak through. Um, you can kind of see that this triangle right here was right here. 
Um, for the most part, the fleece is dry. The thin set you can see here as far as a moisture penetration, you see this ring here. So that's, uh, I would say that's a lot less than I'm seeing with the Schluter Curdy. Um, again, maybe it has to do with fleece, maybe it has to do with modified thin set, I don't know. But it looks like uh, for the most part we're getting about an inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, maybe this might be two inches. So moisture is getting under there, but from my experience, again, it can have, all my tests with Schluter Curdy are done with unmodified thin set, so that could be one of the factors. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start peeling. So it looks like we did have some moisture come through. Oh no, that, that was a cut and fold. Never mind. I think that was because this goes behind it. Yeah, okay. So we did I did have a little moisture right here, but this flap goes all the way into the corner. So but there's some that did come in there. Okay, let's see if I can get this off. Um, yeah, but my substrate's completely dry there. This one is good. Nothing in there. Okay, so here's what we got. Grab the camera here. Everything underneath is bone dry. There is nothing in the corners. The voids in thin set, but it is dry for sure. Everything is dry. So there you have it. There's a comparison between two different manufacturers of polyethylene fleece membrane. Uh, it's important to keep in mind that these sheet membranes basically have two components. They have the polyethylene layer, which is, is the waterproofing. That's like the plastic. It has some stretchiness to it. Polyethylene, you can Google it, find out what it is. Then the other part is the polyester fleece that's on top of it that acts as the anchoring mechanism, the mechanical part of the membrane that will allow it to bond to thin set mortar. So I was always the, under the assumption that the different companies had the same proportions, they all function the same because really I'd only use Schluter Curdy. As I've started to use the other ones, I see they all have their own unique characteristics. Like I said, some have more memory, some don't, some have more fleece, some have less. So uh, I guess what I gathered out of this, this one with Noble's value seal is that uh, you can use a sealant on it and it will, it will hold up, it will seal, uh, you know, you can use Curdy Fix, you could probably use polyethylene, you could probably use silicone and it would seal it, whereas with Curdy it doesn't. Uh, but what I found too was that the anchoring mechanism, the fleece with it being thin like that, the mechanical bond isn't as strong. Even with modified thin set, you saw it, it peeled up really easy. So, you know, there you have it. Um, two different products that perform similar, but they do have difference, and, and that might help you out. If you're thinking, well, I want a membrane that I can use a sealant on, 
uh, kind of like how you'd build a weedy system or another one where you, you know, they don't have banner and they just use sealant to cover their seams. Maybe this would be a good product for you. Uh, but if you're looking for strength, if you're looking for a really strong bond, Curdy's probably better. Thanks for watching my videos. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to click on the next video coming up. I think you'll like that one too. Until then, leave your comments in the section below or find me on Instagram at TileCoach. Some days you make money, some days you make friends. I hope you make either one, guys. Have a great one. We'll see you on the next video.